All right, guys. So the breaking news this morning is Jordan Clarkson has rejected contract extensions between him and the Utah Jazz. Um, this is coming from Mark Stein of Substack, and it's been breaking all over Twitter on different accounts. Um, Jordan Clarkson has rebuffed contract extension offers from the Utah Jazz, sources told Mark Stein of Substack. Clarkson currently has a player option of $14.2 million next season, which means you know, he, he could opt back into that, but most likely he's wanting to test out what free agency has. Um, my guess is that Clarkson wanted a certain amount of money. The Jazz weren't willing to give that to him, and so um, he rejected it. If you're a Jazz fan like me, lately he's been uh, struggling a little bit, and <laughs> I was joking around saying maybe he's having girl problems, but this could easily be why he was struggling as far as his play with the Utah Jazz. It could have been in contract extensions, talks, and unable to agree on things. So um, at the beginning of the season, and I'll read this report from, um, let's see, basketballnews.com. It says, entering the season, this was, this was written in t December 20, or yeah, 2022. Entering the season, it looked like the Utah Jazz were positioned to be one of the teams in the running for the top pick in next year's draft and the prize of Victor Wembanyama. Instead, the team has been very competitive with an 18-16 record. Now it's 2021 record, and currently sitting in eighth position. I uh, I think we're in ninth or tenth. There's pe plenty of speculation that the team would be sellers and that Jordan Clarkson could be traded. Now Chris Haynes of Bleacher Report states that Clarkson and his agents are engaged in contract extensions talks with the Jazz. So we know that that didn't happen in the beginning of the season. Um, I think it was a smart move by the Jazz. It, it, Jordan Clarkson is a fan favorite here, and it would really hurt to see him go. I know that we're in a rebuilding stage, so it's really going to come down to the money, in my mind. Wh who's going to be able to offer Jordan Clarkson the biggest amount um, on a contract? And he's on a player option, so I don't think the, the Jazz felt the need to give him a big contract uh, especially now with the way Lowry Markkinen's playing, you know they they might want to give that money to him or Malik Beasley. Um, rumors are that he's going to go to the Lakers. I I think a trade might go down before the trade deadline, which is uh, before the All Star game. And just thinking about Jordan Clarkson being on another team, he's been a, a really big part of the Utah Jazz community and a fan favorite. I, I think a lot of people would be disappointed to see him go. I think it might be time for him to go personally. Um, but if we go on a playoff run, like he, he's somebody that I could see the Jazz is keeping around for a playoff run. Um, he's 30 years old and is averaging career highs of 20.1 points and four and a half assists per game. He's really evolved his game this year as far as scoring but also passing and becoming a facilitator he's 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 really going to be missed if he's not in a utah jazz uniform anymore i know that clarkson wanted to stay in utah and has expressed how much he loves playing here um i hope that they can come to an agreement but from this report it, it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen also miles turner has turned down some contract extensions it would be great if Somehow the Jazz and the Pacers could work out uh, like a sign and trade or something with Miles Turner and Jordan Clarkson. Um, but yeah, just breaking news and wanted to get this video out there for people to watch. Um, would love your comments and opinions. We do a live broadcast after every Jazz game. You can join in on Twitter at jazzketball.com. Uh, you can listen to our podcast, which this will be posted as well on there. And uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of Jordan Clarkson and the Utah Jazz not being able to get a contract extension done before the tra trade deadline. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do all the good stuff, and we'll see you guys next time.